Hello there. I'm Mike Steffen, founder and inventor at Cage Innovation. Cage Innovation's sole purpose is to invent products for the landscape and snow removal industries. We pour our hearts into finding the better way to do those common and repetitive tasks that you guys are doing daily. Our design criteria starts with three things. One, simplicity. Two, competitive pricing. And three, just a real world, down to earth solution to a common everyday task. In short, our business is and revolves around our motto of experience driven innovation. Follow me for a sneak peek at the latest experience driven innovation. What's up, snow fighters? This is Mike Steffen with Cage Innovation. I'm right outside the front of the Cage facility in Osceola, Wisconsin. And I want to show you something new, something that we've been working on. This is in the final stages of our 10 step research and development process. So this is coming to the market real soon. I want to show this to you today and the name of it is the Snow Dozer. All right, let's go check this out. All right, so the, the parts you see behind me are just a few of the parts of this new Snow Dozer product. We've got a, a pivot frame looking thing here. We've got a center mold board um, and then some other sections over here. So the idea of this product is it's, uh, it's a 48 inch tall mold board designed for much larger wheel loaders than you know our Snowstorm products will be or are. Um, so the 48 inch tall mold board is something that we've been kind of like toying around with ideas uh, for the past five years. But before we were in this brand new large scale manufacturing facility, we just didn't have the resources and the space to make something quite so big. Um, but here we are now, we've been in this facility for three years and launching this brand new heavy duty, big plow product, okay? Um, so we named it the Snow Dozer. And let me just go over some of the um, concepts of this first. So this plow is built in sections. Um, so there's gonna be an eight foot center section um, attached to the pivot frame and it's gonna have oscillation and things like that that I'll show you later. Um, but the center section is gonna be kind of the base unit. And from there, you're gonna be able to add two or three foot sections um, bolted onto the side. Now these are bolt on, not welded. So uh, later on you can add or change or switch sizes or whatever you wanna do. Uh, but the bolt on sections, um, and those sections will trip and act kind of independently, um, not moving up and down necessarily. Um, that'll be handled by the Advantage product, but uh, bolted on to the eight foot section so that you can uh, adapt to different sizes, you know, up to 16 or I don't know how big people are going to want to go with this. So, um, but we've got it through testing. We've uh, been using this for about a year and a half now in the snow removal industry here in Osceola. And uh, we're excited to do this. So let me show you in detail some of the components that we've got here and some of the drawings that we're going to be working off of. All right, so here we have two three-foot sections that will bolt on to the end of this mold board here. This is the eight-foot center section, and you see we've got uh, bolts. These are one-inch holes that'll allow us to bolt whatever size sections we want. And we can stack up the sections too, so you can stack up you know, two three-foot sections or a three-foot and a two-foot on each side of that. We've also got access holes for hoses to run through, and I'll show you that in a minute too. That's how we're gonna uh, clamp on the snow cage box to the snow dozer here. <clears throat> You'll recognize this pivot frame. So this is what we call our KBW pivot frame. Something very similar to this is already used on the snow storm. Um, the difference here is that we've added these ears up on the top, and this is to control the snow dozer tilt. The snow dozer tilt is actually going to be allow the uh, plow itself, so you're going to be able to adjust the cutting edge or the 
ability to throw snow laterally versus um, having the snow rise up on the moldboard, kind of like pushers. So a, push, a pusher is more vertical, vertically orientated when a snow plow is more tilted forward to get that snow to really throw forward and laterally. Um, so that's gonna be one of the cool features of the Snow Dozer product is we're gonna be able to have a link that goes from here to the moldboard itself and that plow will be able to tilt forward a little bit. Um, <clears throat> here, don't we, we don't have a pivot tower welded to this. What we do have is an adapter plate um, one inch thick adapter plate welded to the front of the KBW um, and that's going to accept this big dozer ball hence the name snow dozer oh, this thing weighs about 30 pounds but as you can see can get it out here as you can see, this is a nice big machine block of steel. And this is how we're gonna get our oscillation to happen. So there's a short kingpin that drops through here um, and will uh, attach to the moldboard, attach the pivot frame to the moldboard, and that will allow our oscillation. <clears throat> Moving on, we've got some base angles here. So this plow is gonna be a trip edge design. This product can be uh, bolted up with either solid cutting edges or the Advantage product. All right, and here we have some, some of our manufacturing drawings. Here you can see uh, we're going to be using So these parts right here are actually just plastic covers that are gonna bolt on the back. And you can see the sections are gonna have their own trip spring and their own cutting edge and trip edge. And then some more covers here to cover up the, the space. And we use plastic because it's a little cheaper and lighter. But they will bolt on here um, you can see the pivot frame is equipped with a floating quick attach as usual. Now that's all the same as the Snowstorm product. Um, but here's that top link that I was talking about here that will allow the, the plow to actually tip forward slightly. So you can adjust your attack angle and the way the ability the plow has to throw the snow laterally. Um, here you can see our unique oscillation design here. So we're going to be on this, on this large width snow plow, it's important to control the oscillation a little bit. So when you lift it up, this plow is actually gonna self-center and self-level to the ground. Um, and then when you set it down, of course, it will follow the contour of the ground wherever it needs to go. Um, but the way we're accomplishing that self-centering is by using hydraulic cylinders, uh, which are attached to an accumulator that's gonna be mounted up inside. So here's a picture of that accumulator, and that gets mounted behind the plastic covers. So this is the eight foot section all by itself, and you can see it has, uh, it's gonna have four trip springs, two separate trip edges at the bottom. There's a left and a right. Here's the eight foot section with its pivot frame. A little more detail. Uh, inch and a half rod cylinders, three inch bore cylinders. Okay, here's our clamping mechanism. So this is gonna get bolted on to the end of the section. So the outer sections of the plow are gonna have this pin that drives out and holds the box, holds the snow cage box in place. So the snow cage box is just going to be another big brother version of the snowstorm box. And uh, there's, so there's going to be a, uh, a cylinder attached to a pin that drives out and enters a cavity that's cut into the side of the box, the, the side panels if you will, 
and that allows a lot of float movement in the box itself so the box can ride over curbs and other contours. All right, I'm gonna go collect the rest of these parts and get to it. I hope you enjoyed this quick peek at the new Snowdozer product. See you soon. Well, that's it, folks. Remember, we're here to make it easy for you. So comment below with your suggestions or new ideas. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates.